we're going to take a few moments to take a look at how business center heavy construction addition can benefit a small or any size contractor for that matter with the process of staking out data on your project. In this particular example, we're going to demonstrate the use of a landscaping plan to stake out the vegetation or the landscape scaping on a particular project or a small site project like this bank we have here. Now, all you really need is the PDF for the landscape plan, but I'm also going to demonstrate how we can use this control file that is can be gotten from an engineer or your site surveyor. On this control file, not only are my uh, survey control points, but also in this particular case are the iron pipes that are found for this boundary. This is going to help us orient and rectify our image into the proper location and size. So we'll move this guy off to the side for a minute. And I'll start by dragging in this control file. This will also help us calibrate our site if we can go to stake this out using SCS 900. And we'll demonstrate that here as we get into the video. So I'm going to use this file format, which is point number northern easting elevation control or code, and it's a control points. And we'll just go ahead and import that. So now you can see it comes in, it's got some points into the, the project. I'm going to move this guy over to the side just so that we can see it when we import the image. So next, I'm just going to go to my PDFs, and I'm going to drag and drop in that landscape plan. Now, this is a vector-based PDF, which is a typical output from most CAD applications these days. So you may have to request this from the engineer, but they should be able to provide it to you without a problem. So what I have here is I have the PDF, and I have my control points. And there's different ways that we can import this, but I'm going to go ahead and use a georeference vector method. So I'm just going to change that from rather placing image to georeference vector PDF. I'm so I'm going to go ahead and apply a clipping boundary and this will help me remove the title block information and reduce some of the data that's on my screen. Then I'm just going to go ahead and pick my pixels. So my first pixel is going to be this upper corner here. So I'm going to snap to the iron pipe found there and I'm going to assign that to this control point that's at the top of my site. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same with this lower corner. So I've reviewed this already and I know that I've got a boundary corner there and that's going to match up with this point over here. So once I have those two picked, I'm just going to go ahead and register. And now it orients this and you can see that if I look at my control points on my site, the other iron pipes fall right where they're supposed to so that I know that my image or my PDF is properly scaled and I'm ready to work with it. Now that I have it all properly scaled, oriented, and placed, I'm just going to right click and select Import Vector PDF Data. We'll go ahead and leave the settings the way they are and I'll click Import. So what this is doing is it's importing the vector-based PDF data from the PDF document and placing it as basically CAD elements into my Business Center project. What we're going to do next is we're going to kind of classify or standard, standardize some of this data to make it easier for us to stake out. And we've got some predefined stuff in our template that we can work with. So I'm also just going to right click and I'm going to select toggle visibility and that's going to turn off the image. So now you can see that I'm left with just basically some simple CAD information. What we want to do is clean this up because we're in this case we have data that's on the designers layers. So I'm going to come in here and, and do some what's called standardization. So if I go to my takeoff tab here and I click on standardize, what I'm going to be able to do here is pick certain objects. So I'm going to pick the curb and gutter here. You can see it selects everything that's on that layer and I'm going to assign it to a staking layer. So I'm going to set it to my, in this case, we'll just call it the edge of pavement. Even though it might be curb and gutter, you can see there's some line work for pavement striping as well that's on there. But, you know, again, we're just going to put it on this particular layer. Next, we'll, let's grab the building. So we'll grab that. And we'll put that on our stake building layer. We'll come in, we'll grab the sidewalk. And we'll put that on a sidewalk layer. So depending on how the CAD data is, you may do little or more cleanup than you may need or you would want to, but it depends on how you have it. So we'll take all the landscape. We're going to put that on the landscape layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out here and we're going to grab this information here and we're going to put that on a background layer. So we're just going to put it on 
uh, site and we'll call it uh, background gray. So we'll just set that there. And it's probably all we really are concerned about when we're staking out the, the landscaping. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and if we uncheck the layers here, it turns off everything but that information. There is one other thing that I want to add. So let's turn this back on. We're going to add the, bar the property boundary. So I'm going to come in here and we'll grab the property line, which looks like this guy right here. So I'm going to select that. And oops, let's go up here and select that layer. And we'll set that on the boundary layer just so we have that so if I click on layers here now you can see that I've turned off everything but my landscaping information my sidewalks and um, my parking edge pavement just to use as a guide when I'm out there on site staking this out so I know where I'm at now what we're gonna do next is if we take a look at the way these this data came in this is a, a line segment so if I select it, you can see that it's a polyline, and then these are individual little line segments here, okay? Well, Business Center has some really unique tools to help us stake this information out. So I'm gonna go to the CAD tab, and I'm gonna create points from CAD, or create from CAD. I'm gonna go ahead and select by layer, so it's gonna select everything on this layer. So let's go ahead and grab that, and we'll click Close. And I'm gonna set points at the centroid of the line. So it's gonna put us a point at the center of this. And you got starting ID, we'll maybe start at 1,000. You can see that it's gonna to go to a layer here. We can do uh, stakeout, stakeout points or points PDF. Um, let's leave it at points PDF, that's fine. And for the feature code, we can just call this, you know, veg or tree or, you know, if we wanted to, we could select individual ones and give it a feature code, but we'll, we'll just put in vegetation because they're different shrubs and bush, bushes and trees. When I hit apply and hit close, you'll see when I turn on the feature code that I have vegetation points all along my trees, all the way around the project, okay? I could also come in and let's say that maybe we had a retaining wall that we needed to stake. Well, I could also do that and say, you know, create points from CAD again, and I can set points along a line, uh, at midpoints, or at an interval along that line. So a lot of different methods of creating uh, points. So here's the created intervals. So I can create points along a line at intervals. So if I was staking on a retaining wall, or curbing, or, you know, other information, I could easily set these points. You don't always need points because we also can stake out the lines. So we'll show you that as well. So basically we're really ready to send this out to the field. So with a few short edits, um, we can send this out. Now I may come in and clean up some of this other stuff. Like you can see all this hatch pattern that came in. I would probably isolate that. So I can do this by picking here and isolating the layer. So I'm only gonna view basically that information. So what I can do is I can come in and select this so it's kind of selecting all of that and then if i hold my control key down i can come in here and remove this line work so i'm removing these edges because i want to keep those but get rid of all that hatch pattern so that it doesn't carry over to my site controller so again depending on how the cad data was drawn and created um, will depend on how much of this editing. Now there is another tool called a cleanup tool that I could use to join all this. Um, so once I have that, let's go ahead and we'll keep this line in here as well. And this one as well. I'm just gonna right click and we'll go ahead and delete it. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll uh, turn everything back on. And just simply actually let's, yeah. I'll isolate that. We'll turn on our stake layer. Um, maybe I also want to turn on some labels. So let's go ahead and put in the site text so I can see the you know what information is out there, as well as some landscaping text. So we can put the landscaping text in this as well. So now we're really ready to go ahead and stake this out. Um, oh, I got to put my points on as also. So let's go ahead and turn my points on. 
So the next step to stake this out, now I'm gonna assume that we're using an SCS 9, uh, 900 uh, system or a controller, so that would benefit and show you the overall workflow is using the field data tab. So I'll first come in here and I'll create a job site and my job site, we'll call it uh, uh, bank landscape. I'm going to assign it to that my controller that I'm gonna send out to the field. I'm gonna come in here, it's gonna ask me for some information, like my calibration, control points, so on and so forth. So, you know, I could come in here and select uh, certain control points. I can also come in here and do a site map where maybe I wanna add information just by layer. So I'm gonna add the boundary information and maybe we add in, um, yeah, no, that should be good. We'll just add that for now. So we'll add that as the boundary and then I'm going to close this. Next, I'm going to create a design. So we'll call this, you know, again, landscape veg for vegetation. Assign it to that controller. I click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the either points we want to stake out or we can pick the information from the design map. So if I was to come in here and say stake out points, I can select my points by layer. Just grab that vegetation layer. Add those. Then we can do the design map. So I just come over here and we will turn off the points. And I will pick, actually let's turn off the boundary as well. So we'll just come in here and say hide layers of selected objects. So I've got just that information. I'm gonna click my plus or minus on my design map and I'm gonna window everything and we'll add that and I'll click okay. And we're good to go with that. Next, we're gonna create a work order. So I'll come in and create the work order. We'll say stake out vegetation. We'll click okay. It's going to ask us for the design. We'll pick the landscape. And we can put in information here like, you know, uh, stake out trees and shrubs. And if we want to view it, we can click view. Save the changes there. Gives us a little preview of what we might see. So there's all our data we're going to see. So we're, we've got it all selected. And I'm going to hit OK. So basically what I've done is I've put this stuff together and I've sent it out to a controller. And that controller would be synced to uh, my, my computer or we have a, a remote set, uh, set up where you can actually send this out and sync it through our uh, Trimble Connected community and actually send this out to a guy who already may be out on site somewhere or on another project and you want him to go and stake out this vegetation. So he doesn't have to come back to the office. He can actually do this remotely. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at the emulator. So this would be the SCS 900. So this is already sent out to the field and the guy out in the field has it. So now he's gonna come in here and he's going to select the project. So if he comes in and picks the bank landscape, he picks the work order, stake out vegetation. There's my work order that I created and he's gonna go ahead and connect and set up. So he's setting up his rover. Um, in this case, well, I'm using an emulator, so we'll just go ahead and enter through this. And hit accept. He would go and calibrate the site, so he would click on yes and go to those control points that we have, and that way he's you know in the right location and it's all calibrated. Um, I'm just gonna say no for that. And now basically I can come in here and I can start staking information out. So if I zoom in to my trees here, I would come over here and maybe we start up in this corner and we go ahead and do this tree. So I'm just gonna come in and let's say we start with this guy here. So I pick that point. If I press and hold on it, it's gonna come up. It's gonna ask me, okay, what do I wanna stake, the line or the point? I'll pick that point and We'll say stake point and then I'm just gonna work my way around my site so I'm walking here and I'm walking over to my point you can tell I'm in tolerance 
I'll go ahead and hit stake. It's going to show me the information, the design information, the point information. I can come in here and edit the stakeout, so it's going to add that stakeout information. We'll hit accept. Records that point. And now I'm going to come over here, and we're going to stake that point out. So I'll work my way over to that one. Checking my tolerances up above. We'll go ahead and stake that. Okay, we're good there. And you can adjust those tolerances out in the field. So again, I'm just gonna work my way to the, just work my way around, I'm just grabbing these guys. So instead of measuring this with a tape or, or a wheel, guys on the field just walking using GPS in this case to stake out the points. So let's say we're off tolerance a little bit and we hit, we'll stake that one. You can see it's gonna tell us that it's out of tolerance. We may accept it anyways, because we maybe we had to move it. So that's where we're actually staking it out now. And I'm just gonna work my way around. We'll do the same thing. I'll measure, uh, or let's go ahead and stake that one. Okay, so we're again, we're walking around the site, getting to that spot. It's telling us which way, which directions to go. Get a little closer. Let's take that one. Again, it's out of tolerance. That's fine. We'll accept it because we're, we're probably a, a tenth or two out of the way. And then, you know, you can go around and do other things. So if I want to stake, you know, I know this is a parking stripe, but maybe we want to stake out that parking stripe. So I can say I want to stake that line. And I'm going to set the start point. So if I was a putting in traffic marking or uh, pavement striping, you could use this, um, this system as well. So we'll go ahead and stake that one. That one's good there. And then we'll go ahead and, you know, we can stake the end of the line. So we'll stake that line as well. And we'll pick the end point. We'll stake that. And now we've staked that line. So once you're done, uh, you know, guy's done with the job, he's all set, he leaves the project. Again, he would sync this back up or bring the controller back to the office and sync it up. So after I, I sync it up, we, we close out. Then we just come back in here and we say import results. So when I import the results, you can see it's looking out at my controller and I'm gonna bring in that stake vegetation. And you can see that it's brought in those staked points. So those are where we staked it out. If I turn on my points, you can see where we originally comped them. And then I can even come up and do a report. I can come in here and take a look at the report. And in this case, if you're doing, you know, uh, you wanna do a cut sheet or whatever, this is how you would do it. You would come in here, you would create your report. It's gonna give you all the information about the job, what it was done, how it was, you know, where they set up, dates, times, all that information. So here's the line I staked and the points I staked. I can come over here and look at the, the station and the measured offsets and the name, um, you know, the difference in, um, in measured values, all right, my quality data. So I can come in here and there's all kinds of different reports that I can create. Um, I can export this data out as well, but it's basically just an Excel spreadsheet. So you can fill out the company name and everything. And now you've got a nice report or cut sheet of what was actually done on that project. So you can see this is fairly simple and I went through this in a very simple uh, way, but again, if you're a landscape art, uh, designer, a landscaper, or a small site contractor and you need to stake out you know, uh, minor things out on site, you know, you're not using machine guided automation on your, on your equipment, but you wanna go ahead and stake this data out and, and even verify it and check it. This is the power of Business Center Heavy Construction Edition along with SCS 900. So to learn more about SES 900 Business Center Heavy Construction Edition, contact your local SciTech dealer for a demo.